Hello everyone, this is Dave, and this is my first video in the tutorial series on X3 Terran Conflict, and it's meant to be a complete walkthrough for beginning players to get you up and running, and hopefully get you a, uh, a good grasp of the game. I'm going to be using the Humble Merchant Startup, so if you want to follow along, you can start a new game uh, using those settings by selecting it here. Now X3 Terran Conflict is a, a very massive and very complex game. Um, EgoSoft has done a great job of, uh, de uh, of updating the game and listening to uh, customer feedback. I'm going to press escape here and skip this animation. Alright, we're going to start by talking about the interface. Um, I'm going to try to limit it to just uh, what is needed at the moment. So rather than go completely through the interface, I'm just going to start playing and uh, hopefully that will help you get started quicker and then as we need uh, a piece of information we'll discuss it then. All right, Argo, what you see on the screen school, is a mouse pointer and it functions just like you think it would. I can uh, come over here and select some of the interface buttons and uh, at the same same time you can use and I recommend you doing so hotkeys to do the same thing because it will speed things up greatly. Uh, to select the interface um, buttons with the hotkeys only, you just press the enter key to bring that up. You can right and left arrow over, up and down, and press enter to make your selections. And to close uh, any window, I usually use the delete key. Alright, there's a ship that is selected uh, in my view. It's the Argonne Flight School Nova. He has a light bulb icon over him. That means he's got a mission for me, but um, it's some opening tutorials. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take those now, and that's what uh, that's what I'm doing here. So, uh, we're gonna let that go. Um, first things first. Let's pull up our properties window by pressing the R key, and you'll see that we own two ships in this startup: uh, one combat ship, the Discoverer, and a hauler, the Mercury. You'll see that this asterisk player written under location means that I am in this ship. It's the one I'm flying. If you select a ship, there's many options you can choose, um, but select your discover and we'll pull up the info. You can either press U or select the this with the mouse. To uh, other ships in the press escape. I'm going to turn the uh, verbose ship computer off um, by going to audio options. And I don't need her speaking over the tutorial, that'll just make things complicated. Same thing with station announcements. I'm just doing that for the tutorial purposes. All right. Uh, pull up information on that discoverer again. Uh, this will give you vital stats on this sh on the ship. You can see that it has very minimal shielding, no lasers or missiles. Current speed 118 meters a second. You can upgrade it uh, to 346. Same thing with acceleration, steering, which how quickly you can turn around, um, shielding, etc. All right, without weapons and no shielding, uh, the ship isn't going to be very useful to us as a combat ship. So my intent for this tutorial is to sell this ship and use our hauler to, uh, or use that money to reinvest in our, um, our trading business using our hauler uh, to uh, generate some income. Let's pull up the information on the Mercury real quick. All right, you see it has a freight um, of 3,000. I've got 3,000 cargo units. Um, space to haul freight with. Um, and it's, that's good enough to start with. Um, so let's go uh, take care of selling that ship. Uh, to do some flying, if you left click and hold in space, the pointer will change. And wherever you point this cursor, uh, this new pointer at, the ship will turn to face it. So you can effectively fly your ship uh, using the mouse this way. Um, the number on the right next to the targeting reticule is my speed. It's zero. I'm not moving as reflected also here under my mercury. The number on the left is the speed of my target. Uh, these arrows point to my current target so if I steer up I can actually see I still have that ship selected. Alright, down here uh, this blue line represents my shield and the green represents my hull. If you start taking damage the shield will um, start to go down and if it goes all the way down to zero the damage will then start to come out of your hull and that's bad because it's very expensive to repair a ship um, and even if you use your flight suit if you eject from this this ship and use your flight suit repair laser 
takes a very long time, especially the bigger the ship. So uh, obviously you want to avoid getting your ship damaged. All right, down here is the throttle setting. Currently it's uh, brake to stop, uh, completely stopped. You can control the throttle with the X and the Z key. So if I press the X key a couple of times, you'll see this throttle going up. And the speed of my ship is catching up to that throttle based on my acceleration stats. Now if I press Z, that will lower the throttle, and again, the ship will slow down. If you want to go to full throttle, just press Tab. You'll see it jumps all the way up. And if you want to go to zero throttle, just press the backspace key, and the ship will come to a stop. All right, a couple of maps you're going to use a lot are the universe and the sector map. So let's load the universe map by pressing comma. And currently we only have one sector uh, discovered, and that's Heron's Nebula. There are four lines leading out of this on the universe map, and those represent the four gates that we have discovered. The game has given those to us uh, up front. Uh, but they're not connected to anything on our map yet because we haven't flown through the gates and discovered those sectors. So we will do that um, eventually. So hit uh, delete to close that. And let's load the sector map by pressing period. Now this is a sector map of Heron's Nebula. Um, the startup game has already given us this sector, sector map, so you can see the stations. Um, you can either click right on them uh, on the map or select their text over here, interact with them. Uh, if you wanted to dock at a station, if you wanted to select it as your target, if you're close enough, communications with them, that's how you get certain missions. All right, this white triangle in the middle is my ship, and this light blue circle around it is um, my scanner. So I have a pretty small scanner range right now, and we'll upgrade that later. But as you can see, these blue, these other blue icons uh, representing other ships in this sector are flying through. Um, I can see them when they're in range of my scanner, as that one just popped on. But anything outside of that range, I can't see. So if you want to see what's going on out here, you either have to have more ships um, with larger scanners out here, or preferably um, have purchased and launched um, satellites into the area. And we'll do that later. Um, if you scroll down, uh, this side, of course, here anything in green is items that belong to you, so these two ships are ours. These are all stations. Um, this little icon next to this station means that this station has a mission for me, and that specifically is a combat-based mission. We're not going to take any of that yet because we simply don't have uh, a ship for it. There are ships that are in the sectors, and ships can offer you uh, missions too. This one... Uh, we've already talked about. That's the uh, Flight School Nova. Scroll down further and you can see uh, asteroids. We'll cover those later. Here are the four gates uh, that we have discovered. So I know from experience that Argon Prime uh, has a shipyard in it and we'll have to dock at a shipyard to be able to sell our ship. So we're going to go ahead and fly through that gate. If you select this, there's many ways you can do it. You can either click right on autopilot and now my ship is um, autopiloting through that gate. Um, you can select it as your target, and when something is selected as a target, you'll see these double yellow arrows uh, on the right side of your sector map indicating that it is. If I press delete and close this, you'll see arrows. Uh, we just missed it. Um, but if your target is kind of off to the side, you'll see um, arrows pointing towards it so that you can steer your ship towards it. All right, let's press SATA uh, to speed this up. Now the game starts out default for some reason at 600% SATA. So let's change that. The only reason to go into SATA is to speed things up so you don't have to wait on it. Go to gameplay. SATA factor is currently at 6x, so hit the right arrow a couple of times. Uh, the maximum is 10. If you pass it, just click back. Uh, press delete, and let's press J for SATA again. And uh, we will fast forward uh, going through this gate. Now you want to watch very busy sectors with lots of asteroids in them. Um, sometimes autopilot has a bad reputation of crashing into them. Uh, these icons around the edge of your screen represent stations. And you'll learn what they look like uh, later the more you play. And if I were to steer my ship in the, that direction, um, or the direction of one of these icons, eventually I will turn to face that actual station in space. So that's pretty um, handy in finding things. Entering system, right. Argon Prime. We've just uh, jumped into Argon Prime. Uh, now if I pull up my universe map, you'll see that we now have two sectors, and they're connected by gates. 
Uh, we left the south gate of Heron's Nebula and have flown into Argon Prime. Currently we haven't discovered any of the gates here, so you only see, um, except for the north gate that we just flew through, that's the only one you see. If I press delete to close that and load the sector map now with, by pressing period, uh, you can see that this sector has not been mapped. Now again, there is a station here, but uh, the only reason we see it on the sector map is because it has fallen in the range of our scanner. So if I press delete and close that, and I steer and look around, you can see, obviously, there are, there's a station there. There's another gate here. Um, there's some stations here. Uh, so we can see there are things here. They're just not on our map yet. So in order to map them, you have to fly close enough to them to get them in range of your scanner. So I'm going to point uh, into the general direction of this item over here. I uh, hit full throttle by pressing tab, and I'm going to press J. Uh, to kind of speed things up. Now, this blue box just appeared over the station, meaning that we just discovered it. So, Argon equipment that dock. equipment dock is now on my sector map. If I load it up, you will see. There's the equipment dock. So we have just mapped that. So anytime you find a new sector, you want to definitely take the time uh, to map it out because you're going to need uh, the stations uh, that are provided in a lot of these sectors for your uh, trade business. Uh, you definitely want to be able to have as much access to product um, supply and demand as possible to maximize your profits. I just mapped this station up here. Now as I get closer to this gate, uh, this one will get mapped. Now, obviously this is it's taking quite a while because I'm in a hauler and the hauler hasn't been upgraded so it, it doesn't even have its, um, its highest Gate's speed broken. possible. So this is going to take a while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for now and I'm going to map um, this sector. And when I come back, uh, we'll start doing some trading. So I'll see you there.